Hey everybody, Matt DeGrower here, live from the Sure to Grow studio. Uh, this is the, the last video as far as building that you're going to see in the How To Hydroponic series. I'm a little sad, Matt. Uh, I'm a little sad by it too. Uh, I want everyone to know that this is a very advanced build. Uh, I suggest that you have at least watched all the videos up to this point and be very comfortable using uh, a variety of tools. The construction of this is relatively complex, but I assure you, once you see it and once it's done, you'll realize that all the hard work was worth it. If you haven't made a hydroponic system before, this is probably not the one you want to start with. It is not just probably not, it is absolutely not the one you want to start with. Um, you're going to feel very inadequate. I could not build one of these. Well, you, yes, you can. And okay. you're, you're going to help right. me, but right. it's not something where we would suggest you start with this. Okay. So I'm going to give you an idea. I want to get in a little bit close and take a look at this right here. Um, I've actually constructed this from half inch rigid PVC. Okay. Obviously rigid PVC you can find just about anywhere. Okay. All the fittings that you see here, the T's, uh, the elbow corners, the half inch shutoffs, this cross here, this sure seal union, all those can be purchased at Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken some half inch PVC and I've built a manifold as you can see and the manifold contains these micro sprinklers. Okay. These micro sprinklers are manufactured by a company called Intelco out of Australia. I find them to be the most reliable, uh, the easiest to use. There are other micro sprinklers on the market. I just prefer Intelco variety ones. Okay. So what do you have to do to build this? Well, you're gonna have to decide how big the tote is or the table that you're going to want this manifold to feed. So you're gonna wanna measure it and then what I would suggest you do is take about two inches off both the length and the width and that will give you the size of your manifold that okay. you're going to want to fit inside of it. Okay. okay. So this aeroflow system is basically like a little sprinkler system like you would have set up on your lawn or something. It's exactly like that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to create a uniform carpet of water, of droplets. So as the roots... A blanket. Yes. Yeah. So as the roots grow down through uh, the top of the, the tote, they're going to be you know, inundated from all sides okay. with this nutrient solution that's been you know, provided by these sprinklers. Okay. All right, so what we have here is uh, the manifold. Uh, I have some legs. The way I've constructed these legs is I've constructed the top of them to be threaded. The reason I do that is so I can take them off at the end of the cycle and it makes this manifold much easier to clean. I could have easily just uh, plastic welded these together like the rest of this manifold, but then these legs would be attached and there'd be an opportunity for sediment to accumulate in here. And, and algae. algae and bacteria. We don't like so if you want to screw these on for me, that would be super. I'm going to screw a couple on here myself. All right, you got that, Borge? I got it. All right, buddy. There we go. So, okay, this is what it's going to look like when it's sitting inside your reservoir. Imagine the reservoir around it. Uh, at the end of this video, you will see it inside there. I also have a substantially larger pump than what I was using before. This is a, an Extreme 550 from Future Harvest Development. This is a great pump. You need something pretty high power to push this system and to make it operate effectively. How much does that go for? It's about 65 or 70 bucks. Okay. I've attached it to a, a, a Uniseal or a SureSeal Union. And the reason I do that is because I think a lot of systems are a little bit poor in their design. They have you just running this uh, flexible tubing generally into the manifold. And that doesn't really allow for a, a very sure seal at all. And if you want to take the manifold out, you're going to have to take the pipe clamp off. You're going to have to pull it off the barb. This is just so much easier. So this will be submerged underwater? It will be submerged underwater. Okay. So what you have here is your pump attached to this sure seal union. So it sucks in the water. Puts and it pushes it system. through this, this thing here. Now, and the sprinklers start firing like those little lawn sprinklers go. Just like that. As you can see, you have a half inch and another half inch inline shutoff valve. You may say to yourself, what is that for? What is that for? I'm going to show you. In this position, it feeds this manifold. In this position, the manifold is shut off. And if you get a close up right here, you can see I have a stopper in the top of this cross union. If I take this stopper out, I can actually thread in a half inch barb, right like this. Okay. What does that do? I'm going to show you. All right, so once we screw this, uh, this half inch barb into the top where that stopper once was. Yeah. If you've watched our top drip video, you can see what I've done is I've created a top drip manifold. Okay. I brought a piece of flexible pipe up, I put a T on it, and I have this going in both directions. This'll be the spaghetti lines that feed the four pots on the top. We can plug this right in. This looks like one of those crazy sprinklers I used to jump over as a child. 
it would be a fun sprinkler to Spin jump around child. And whips your legs yeah so what you have here is a system that operates as an aeroponic system it operates as a top drip and the moment you put an air stone in the bottom here it operates like a dwc so it's a three-way hybrid okay. when the plants are young you're going to feed them through top drip to get their roots established growing into this void so these would plug into the uh plug into the medium right and you would leave the manifold shut off at the bottom okay. and you would just be running the top drip and those are feeding okay. once the roots are established you turn the valves open that these stop running these stop running and then the little sprinklers are going the sprinklers are going i pull out my mpt right here this half inch barb okay. i put the plug back in now it's an aeroponic system with the dwc underneath okay so let's take a look at what that would look like inside of a tote all right if we can pick this up drop this right inside as you can see it just sits right in the bottom there that's going to create a just a, a uniform carpet of droplets of water which are going to coat those roots making this a true aeroponic system okay I would like to then take the, where did it go, um, my air stone, drop that into the bottom, therefore imparting a tremendous amount of dissolved oxygen into the, 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 the tote, snap the lid on, well, before I do that, I better take this plug off, put that barb back on there, put that barb back on. The crazy sprinkler thing. Yeah. Put the lid on the top. Plug that in. Put our pots with our Arroyo inserts right in here. Take your spaghetti line, plug it right into the center of where that inch and a half cutout is. Well, well, what do we have in there right now? We have a two inch cloner. So you plug the two inch cloner in, slide that feed tube right next to the cloner. And that's the system operating as a top drip. So the system can take your young plants to about mid veg where the roots are established. Roots will be coming out the bottom. Once you see the roots coming out the bottom, you can shut that manifold off, take these pipes off, pull this manifold off the top, and the system will operate as an aeroponic and DWC system. It's like a transformer system. It could be multiple things. It can be. What's important to understand, though, is those Intelco micro sprinklers need to be threaded into this pipe for them to operate correctly. And that's probably the most difficult portion of this task. So it's the one thing that I would like to show a hands-on demonstration of. Borger, what I have for you is a piece of half-inch PVC. I have an appropriate drill bit. I believe that's a 1 8 inch drill bit. If you could just drill me a hole in this PVC. A little more. That's good. Back it out. Perfect. Nice. Now what I want you to do is take this tap. And what this tap is going to do is it's going to actually thread that hole. It creates that watertight seal. So you're going to have to apply some pressure and get that thing to start cutting the plastic. Perfect. Try and keep it as straight as possible or else the threads are not going to be straight. All right. Now if you want to take your hand off, I want to show that to the camera. As you can see, what he, you're going to want to thread this in. Why did you laugh right there? Uh, because we're a little cockeyed. Okay. I want to show you how easy this is. And then take one of these micro sprinklers right here. These are these Intelco micro sprinklers. Where do you get those sprinklers? You're going to have to get those from a... Uh, an irrigation supply house. Okay. I get mine from a company called Dripworks. Okay. Out of Willits, California. They seem to have very good prices. And how much do they go for? Uh, about 86 cents a piece. Okay. If you buy them in bulk, see how easy that is? And that's about the most difficult portion is it's just drilling and tapping these series of micro sprinklers and making sure that they fit securely and create that waterproof seal. And that's it. So be sure to go back and check out some of the other videos if you're looking for simpler systems to do. To do. You have instructions on how to do that at uh, shirttogrowvideo.com. But uh, I do have awesome. some good news. Yes. We are also going to uh, produce a video which you can view this system running. Cool. So please go to Shirt to Grow Video and check that out so you can see how amazing the system truly is. Once again, thanks for stopping by. Borger, thanks for all the help. Thank you. Man. Great growing. Peace.